So today we are working on our nightkin. Uh, so we're going to start off as we usually do with the lower levels, so the flesh. To get that nightkin blue, I'm using uh, contrast ultramarines and contrast talisar blue to kind of balance out the darkness of the ultramarines uh, in a one-to-one -one ratio. And I've also used my uh, contrast medium to thin it out a little bit. So let's see how this looks. Alright, so as we can see, the flesh is looking very nice. Uh, that's the tone I was hoping to go for. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and work on the rough here. The kind of the, the um, sheepskin or whatever it is. Uh, and we're going to just kind of go over that with the white. But first... To go ahead and fix a little overage. So we're just going to take our wraith bone and just fix this line here. Also, we're going to fix these leather straps on his face. side and we're going to kind of fix edge of the trousers a little bit just to make sure we're keeping those tattered lines and the bandages which we'll be doing the same white on the bandages here Just going around and fixing a little bits. And then the sandal straps as well. So we're just going to take our apothecary white and take care of that frame.
Okay. Now we're going to focus on the leather part. So we're going to break out our snake bite leather here. So this will be the hood, the sandals, and the strappings. And we're just going to start applying that. Okay, so now that we've got our clothing done, next up is to work on the weapon. So for that we're going to go ahead and take our Basilicanum Gray, uh, and we'll be using that to outline the gun and the blade on the ice skate. Now this is a little old, so I'm going to go ahead and mix it in with some contrast medium. You have to watch as the contrast paints will dry out just like any other so keeping some medium around just to help thin them out make sure you get the consistency you want is a good idea if they're too thin you can always add a second coat Alright, so we got a bit of brown accent in there, but that's just going to make it look like a spot of rust, so no big whoop there. For the ice skate, uh, rather than just leave it like white, I'm going to go with a spot of color here. So a good contrast will be a nice bright red. So we're just going to apply that in real quick. We 
I'm just using some Blood Angels red here. That nice splash of color. And then for the rope work, uh, the belt and the cinch around the neck, we're just going to use a lighter shade of brown. So we're going with the Skeleton Horde just to give us a contrasting color. Because this is a lighter color, it'll get swallowed up if it overshoots onto the darker. So you don't have to be super careful with it. And it'll help close any gaps we may have left with the darker color. Additional details we can do is um, once it dries, we can color the tanks. Go with, say, yellow just to give it a bit more color there. But otherwise, we can call it done. We're going to let it dry, and then once it's done drying, we can go ahead and do the base. So the base has some girder work and some cables along with the earth, so that should be a pretty easy do. Okay, so went ahead and did some additional details, picked out the tanks in yellow, uh, hit the tip with a uh, little dark brass, or uh, what some people call tin bits, uh, and I've done the base here. I uh, just did metal for the framework, uh, dark gray with a black overwash for the cabling, and then just our normal towel light ochre for the dirt with a uh, brown wash over it. And then for the metal, I also applied a rust wash. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and ring the base and then seal it. And we will be back to apply some tufts. Okay, so as we can see, if it will get into focus here, uh, we are all set. Oof. We've got our model sealed, ready to go. So we're going to apply some tufts. We're going to use the Pico Scene static grass this time. Since there aren't a lot of uh, other ground details on this, these are pretty good ones to use because they have that extra ground piece on them. Uh, so got my glue, got my tufts, so we're just going to pop this off, apply that, and then use our brush to spread it around a bit. These larger ones need to give it a bit more of a spread. And then I'm going to apply it right here. Then I'm going to take a smaller one. Same process. Make sure we're getting the whole 
base here. Get the glue off that brush. And then apply it in the inside here. a little bit of regular null oil and we're just going to darken those patches real quick so not null oil sorry agrax earth shade we want to take the fairly pale stonework and bring it down a bit just gonna go in here. And that will help also blend it into the base. Okay, so there we have it. Lost tracking. There we go. So, our first nightkin done. Like I said, really happy with how the flesh came out on that. A little extra details on the incinerator. Very simple scheme that'll look very good on the tabletop. Alright, and next week we'll have a little combination scenery and Fallout for Fallout Friday.